Now I'm going to be doing the bias adjustment. Of course here I still got my old heat kit uh, BTVM the, and what I have to do is basically I have to do it for each side. You have to put the machine into record and I'm using the service manual. You're going to see here there's some basically some um, there's going to be always going to be some resistors somewhere which are probably going to be around 10 10 ohms or so so you can do the math easily enough like this one for example uh, it depended upon the color of the wires going to my um, the recording head and mine is black and red so that it, it said here in the service manual I should be measuring 5 millivolts and I think if you divide that by 10 ohms here's this is hooked up here to a 10 ohm resistor that's going to come out to 500 uh, basically 500 micro amperes so um, that's what I need to get the adjustment to and for that we adjust here these uh, potentiometers here so one for one side one for the other side uh, well basically one for one channel one for the other channel and you can see right now on the one channel I'm reading 400 around 430 um, well, actually, 4.3 millivolts, and I was going to say 400, 430 microamperes. Yeah. So, um, basically, you just have to turn these. I don't know which one is which yet. I'll find out. I'm going to try the left one here. Of course, we need a flathead screwdriver. So, maybe I should have sprayed this with contact cleaner first. Um, Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me shut the uh, camera off. Okay, I got the potentiometers cleaned up. I don't exactly remember the position they were in, but I put them both in the middle now. Uh, of course, when I cleaned those, I had to shut the... I basically had to shut the um, machine off, of course. Let me go ahead and put this thing into record. i got to defeat the record switch here. Okay, of course, as you can see here, again, I think I, I'm not sure whether I mentioned it already. There's This is a bias oscillator, and you can see it's off nice in the corner here, so it doesn't cause any interference with the rest of the circuitry. So, okay, um, what do we got here? We've got um, almost 4 millivolts, and we're supposed to go up to 5. Okay, am I even turning the right one? Why is there nothing happening? Okay, simply because um, I'm turning the wrong um, potentiometer, which happens quite often. So, you can see here I'm turning it and you can see what's happening. Here, that's on 5 millivolts, as it should be. And now the this one here, which was already pretty close. Okay, that's five millivolts too. That mean translates to five hundred microamperes of current. Because it's always best to do this with the um, analog type of meter here. Oh, before I forget, I don't know if I mentioned it. Um, I'm on the 10 millivolt range right now and all the way over here that would be 10 millivolts and this here would be 5 millivolts just to basically clarify also, that I might add what I'm using here is just using as the ground for the test lead is just simply the record playback switch which here is it's made out of metal so um, you can you basically use that so I think that would be it for this video um, thanks for watching